ever wondered why we have 60 minutes in one hour and 60 seconds in one minute why the number 60 dr nick long the consultant curator of astronomy from the sydney observatory says the origin of our time system with each hour subdivided into 60 minutes and then 60 seconds is complex and yet interesting is it just a convention or does it have any mathematical significance at all where did it take its roots well it was the babylonians who first gave the division of the hour into 60 minutes and then a minute into 60 seconds babylonians used a sexagesimal system derived from the sumerian number system used in the early 3500 bc for their calculations and understanding of astronomy from bc to ad to ce humans have evolved we have changed but we still rely on 60 a magical number for us to calculate time why do we do it why not just use 10 or 100 well that is because babylonians had a point and it's not a convention we follow blindly we do so because it eases our calculations curious how let's dig deep for now we'll park 60 and concentrate on 12 a physically significant number not to be ignored when it comes to time since we are religious followers of the decimal system we can't ignore the ease of using 10 either but going back to 12 what's so special about it 12 is a special number that fully divides itself with 1 2 3 4 number 6 and the number 12 itself while 10 divides itself with 1 2 5 and 10 5 is the non common divisor here between 12 and 10 so 60 being 12 times 5 combines the advantage of both 10 and 12 effectively 60 is convenient to use as it makes conversions from hours to minutes minutes to seconds and being able to interpret parts of hours and parts of minutes very easily not convinced let's imagine an hour having 100 minutes and each minute having 100 seconds half an hour would correspond to 50 minutes one third of an hour would correspond to 33.3333 minutes one fourth of an hour would correspond to 25 One fifth of an hour would correspond to twenty, and one sixth of an hour would correspond to sixteen point six 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 minutes. But in the case of a sixty-minute hour, half an hour is thirty, one third of an hour is twenty, one fourth of an hour is fifteen, one fifth of an hour is twelve, one sixth of an hour is ten minutes, which makes the division extremely easy, and more importantly, easy for human beings to interpret. If we use the decimal system like we do, while we measure distances. decimals would crop up and ruin our ease of calculations as we cut through parts of an hour our current convention however gives us a very convenient way of handling time one day is 24 hours which is 24 multiplied by 60 1440 minutes multiplied by 60 86400 seconds where we can understand one half one third one fourth one fifth and one sixth of parts of time extremely easily without having to deal with decimals this doesn't of course explain how the system spread across the world but it's probably because it's easier now that is a topic to be explored for yet another day do you still think that a 10 hour clock would have made more sense if your answer is yes then think again wait a minute before you go away like share and subscribe